Good afternoon. My name is Bartosz Avianowicz, and after uh, publishing more than 120 episodes of the Suri Numi Lokfuntur uh, Coins Talk in Polish, I decided to present you an English episode dedicated to uh, an author uh, who is particularly important to me as the rector of the academic gymnasium in Torun, my city, over uh, 300 years ago. And because I am interested both in uh, ancient numismatics and early modern period, especially in uh, old literature, neo-Latin uh, literature, uh, including numismatic works written between 15th and 18th century, uh, such as, for example, series Augustorum, Augustarum, Caesarum, et Terranorum Omnium by uh, Lorenzo Patarol. Here you can see uh, the Venice edition printed in 1722. A very nice uh, book presenting uh, biographies of uh, uh, ancient emperors and illustrated with their coins. Uh, for example, you can uh, see here the biography of uh, Nero with uh, his portrait. You can compare it with the real coin. Uh, in that case, uh, an ass uh, struck at Rome in 65 AD, according to Roman imperial coinage number uh, 306. We have the famous river presenting the Janus Temple. And here we have the Greek legend Popeia Sebaste. It is Popea Augusta, you can see that uh, uh, this iconography is inspired by a provincial coin. For example, uh, the um, Alexandrian tetradrach, such as this one, uh, minted in uh, 11th year of the Nero's uh, reign, so uh, in 64-65 um, uh, and uh, it is a type according to the Dactari uh, catalog uh, number 197 um, but I uh, don't want to speak more about uh, Patarol. There were much more important autos uh, dealing with the ancient numismatics. So one of them was, for example, Anselmo Banduri, an auto of uh, no numismata imperatorum romanorum a Traiano decio ad Palaiologos Augustus, uh, published for the first time in 1718 in Paris. You can see he looked at here, uh, Parisiorum, he has the Latin uh, name of the capital of France. Very important book uh, with beautiful engravings and still in use uh, even in 19th century. But the author 
I want to talk about today uh, is Georg Wende. Georg Wende was born in Breslau, now Wrocław, uh, in Silesia in 1635. For many years he was professor in his hometown uh, in both uh, Gymnasia, St. Elizabeth and St. Uh, Mary Magdalene uh, Gymnasia in, in Breslau and in other cities of Lower Silesia. And for example, in Ölus, Oleśnica, uh, then in uh, Lauban, uh, Luban, uh, and finally, uh, he was appointed rector of the Torun Academic Gymnasium in 1695, uh, and uh, he moved to Torun, where he was very active as an administrator of the school, as well as professor of the highest classes, so prima and suprema. Uh, his significant position in the Prussian city, Prussian because Torun was uh, one of the most important cities in so-called uh, Royal Prussia, a part of uh, polish Lithuanian Commonwealth, is evidenced by numerous epitaphs in Latin and Polish published by the Torun professors, visitators, vendors, friends and Protestant clergy uh, of the city after his death uh, on the 7th uh, July uh, 1705. But uh, before this, he uh, managed to prepare many public debates, uh, among others, dedicated to ancient coins. And they were published uh, already in uh, 1698, two of them, and the third in 1705. But all of them, all three, uh, are collected as well in um, Melemata Toruniensia, so Dissertationes Vari Argumenti, a uh, kind of uh, academic journal uh, prepared by Peter Jenichen, uh, who was rector of the academic gymnasium in the 20s and 30s of the um, 18th century. And we can find in the uh, second Ah, actually, in the first volume uh, of this uh, journal is three numismatic works by Wende. The first one is, according to its original title, the Quatuor Imperatorum Romanorum Numis in Memoriam Victoriae de Sarmatis Olim Reportatae Cusis. So, about four coins of Roman emperors struck once to commemorate the victory uh, over Sarmatians. The second is here, uh, so the Antiquo et uh, Curioso, Bratislai Primi, uh, Bohemiae Ducis Numio, Numo Argenteo, so uh, about an old and remarkable silver coin of Bratislav I, Duke of Bohemia. And uh, this uh, dissertation has been published for the first time in uh, uh, March 1698, uh, 
this, the second one, uh, in September of the same year. Um, and the third dissertation dedicated to numismatics uh, is the Primis Polonorum Numis Argenteis Siwe Grossis Pragensibus. Uh, so, uh, about the first Polish silver coins, it is about uh, the Prague Groschen. And uh, the first work by Wende uh, seems to be the most interesting, not only because it's dedicated to ancient numismatics, um, but also since it was uh, known and used by such 19th century numismatics, um, you know, some numismatists uh, as Ignacy Polkowski, Antoni Richard, and Karol Bayer. And in 1999, Jerzy Kolendo, a distinguished Polish uh, scholar, wrote an article about it. It was, you can see here, it was published in Notae Numismaticae. Uh, so, uh, and you can see four figures, engravings, um, figures one and two, um, present uh, fantasy fakes types that never existed as real ancient coins, but appeared in Thesaurus Selectorum Numismatum uh, Antiquorum by Jacques Wazel, published in 1677. Figures 4 uh, and 3, uh, however, show reverse of real coins of Marcus Aurelius, that is uh, Roman Imperial Coiners, the third volume numbers uh, 341 and 342, as well as 364 uh, and 366, and of Constantine the first. Um, Jerzy Kolendo uh, says here the Sirmium, uh, uh, emission, like this one. Uh, so it's 748. But of course, here you can see S yes, for the second Secunda, uh, Skilliket of Ikina, and TR, Treverorum. So, the trio should be a proper uh, model uh, of this engraving. And it is. We have the type, uh, according to Roman Imperial Coinage Volume 7, uh, under the number uh, 429. And uh, it's worthy to mention that uh, both in Tria and Sirmium, uh, we have also a uh, similar reverse uh, here with uh, Sarmatia de Victa, and here we with Alemania uh, de Victa, but this time with Alemania uh, was dedicated to Constantine the first son Crispus. Here you can see Flavius Julius Crispus Nobilissimus Kaiser. And uh, here is Constantinus Augustus. Uh, and uh, Vander's dependence on Wazel 
uh, indicated by Colando is absolutely indisputable. Uh, and the Torun rector himself uh, gives references uh, in the text to Thesaurus Selectorum Numismatorum uh, Antiquorum. Wazel, however, does not mention the coin of Commodus, which with the trophy and captives on the reverse, about which uh, Venda writes as uh, follows uh, when he uh, describes uh, these uh, types. Here. Uh, primus et secundus numus in fronte uh, aegri in Cisus Domitiani, Tertius, Marchi, Aureli, Antonini, uh, ultimus Constantini Magni est, commodi autem in uh, postica trofeum ac pone. Uh, istut duos ad tergum eh, revinctus captivos exhibens proptem defectum originalium ab pingi non potuit. Uh, the first and second coins engraved on copper at the first page are of Domitian, uh, the third is of Marcus Aurelius Antoninus, and the last one is of Constantine the Great. It was impossible to show the Commodus coin showing the trophy and, apart from it, two captives uh, tied uh, at the back on the reverse due to the lack of originals. If we consider that Wende wanted to refer in his work only to original coins he saw in person it can be assumed that uh, he could have seen somewhere poorly preserved array of Domitian, uh, dated to 77-78 and uh, to uh, probably um, 87, uh, while the illegible reverse uh, legends, because they bear only elements on the emperor's literature, a large part of the text is devoted not directly to the analysis of the presented coins, but to their historical uh, context and to reflections on the actual location of Sarmatia, which differs from the traditional um, identification of the 17th century uh, Poland with Sarmatia, uh, known from ancient geographers and historians. Um, the uh, second text is dedicated uh, here to the uh, medieval, early medieval coin, and finally uh, the third, theoretically, uh, as well, uh, is about the medieval coin, but um, we have here this Feature Gordianus coin, and uh, it appears because of the chapter uh, about um, coins with the corona radiata, the radial crown in the text. And um, we can say that the choice of a common Antoninianus of Gorian III as a feature illustrating ancient Roman crown raises the question of whether the Torun engraver uh, working for, for Vender could use a coin from the private collection of the rector himself. The collection of the academic gymnasium or one of the Torun patricians as a model. However, the engraving is 
are of poor quality. Uh, so it's not even possible to distinguish whether the prototype was a coin from uh, mint in Rome, like this one. Uh, it's uh, uh, number uh, 84, according to the fourth volume of uh, Roman Imperial coinage. So the legend is, of course, the same Imperator Gordianus Pius Felix Augustus, uh, or Antioch meant with the same type of legend. Uh, as an example, uh, you can see here a coin under the number 213. Uh, so, Imperator, once again, Gordianus Pius Felix Augustus. But, uh, what is the most important, these engravings and this volume uh, proves that ancient coins were studied in Toruń uh, at the end of the 17th century and in the very first years of the 18th century. And ancient coins are studied in the city of Torun today too. Thank you very much. I hope you enjoyed this special English episode of Nummi Lokfuntur. Goodbye and see you hopefully later. Bye.